Hello and welcome to Best of the Worst, a celebration of the very best of the very bad. We'll be looking at everything from the worst public protests to the worst behaviour by a bull, not to mention this. The worst place to play a game of fetch. <laughs> So let's welcome our guests this week on David Mitchell's team, TV presenter Fern Cotton. <laughs> and with Johnny Vaughan tonight, actress and comedian Mel Gedroich. <laughs> Round one is Pick the Worst, in which both teams try to pick the worst from a number of options. Once they've made their choices, the audience votes, and the team that the audience agrees with gets the points. Tonight we're picking the worst day, and our contenders are Valentine's Day, April Fool's Day, Christmas Day, and the 23rd of January. <laughs> I mean, tra traditionally, we should go for Christmas Day, really, because that's, that's oh, supposed to be... I love Christmas Day, well, I come on! I quite like Christmas, but I, I think that's certainly that Christmas Day is a time of great national misery when people are brought, <laughs> brought face to face with people they are supposed to love. And I think that's it, you realise. When you look at someone with sort of boozy, turkey-filled hatred... <laughs> And you realise that you're supposed to love them. Actually, it's worse for me because I'm vegetarian and have to eat nut roast. No, no. Do you know what, Fern? It's worse whoever cooks it for you. Yeah. Because yeah, they've got to do that one little dish well, on the side. It's another <laughs> thing <laughs> on the timetable, <laughs> isn't it? I'll do the check. Oh, I forgot Fern's nut roast. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say something about Christmas Day? Yeah. Our family give rubbish presents. Oh. I remember, this is absolutely true, my cousin and her boyfriend were around one Christmas, mum had forgotten the boyfriend's present, whipped out into the kitchen, wrapped up a box of matches. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas trees are frowned upon by some due to their pagan origins, with one religious expert claiming the Christmas tree has become the most controversial part of Christmas. Well, that and my Aunt Edna's views on immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? The 23rd of January <clears throat> yes. is a real low deck. It's been proved by psychologists. Mm -hmm. This is the most depressing day of the year. Mm. That's right. Oh. The formula the scientists uh, evolved. It's like this. There you are. That's there about right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> What it stands for? Well, the TQ is tequila, I think. <laughs> it's an eighth of weather, plus oh, okay. three eighths of your debt, minus money due on payday, multiplied by the time since Christmas, times motivational levels, multiplied by the need to take action to do something about it. <laughs> uh, the most depressing day for the scientists was, in fact, January the 24th, when their bosses sacked them for arsing a bank. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to consider April Fool's Day, I think, for yes. a moment, because oh, it's a time for people who are essentially humourless to have a bit of a joke, you yes. know. I've got bad memories of April Fool's Day, this is absolutely true. I was about seven, and we were all downstairs, there was a sort of thump, a thud from upstairs, we ran up, Dad, on the bathroom floor, he pretended that he'd had a heart attack. <laughs> My mum was going berserk and going, Michael, that's his name, Michael, Michael. You know, trying to... <laughs> but that's awful, isn't it? It's it's terrible. More awful if it wasn't his name. <laughs> Dad's dying and mum's calling him Michael. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on with us? <laughs> I would pick um... Valentine's Day. Yeah. You Valentine's Day oh. is, is... I'll tell you why. For yeah, a start... Yeah. It, it's the pressure on the whole day to have a romantic time. You go out, it's yeah. just other couples yeah. trying to have a romantic time. And you get those couples who, are, it won't be in the show, but I would describe it as... as Because <laughs> they sit there in restaurants. Everyone's there having Valentine's Day. You're all in these horrid little tits, just looking opposite each other like a prison visit. <laughs> Suddenly, suddenly you get this huge sense that you've never really met this person you've been living with for ten years. Like, yeah, yeah, it's a real laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you get those bastard couples over the other side. Oh. And they, all they do all night just going... Look what she's wearing. <laughs> Have you ever posted yourself a card to look popular? That's Ooh, just dear. you. Dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm sufficiently lonely that there's no one for me to look popular in front of. <laughs> Valentine's Day, I think as far yeah. as well as that, you've got to hire a babysitter because you're going out, the babysitter's going to be a woman, you now know she's going to invite a boyfriend back. In fact, they're the only people that enjoy Valentine's Day are the babysitters, who are then yeah. shagging in your house. Yeah. The <laughs> Valentine's Day, they put flags up everywhere. You know, yeah. they've got flags for, like, two months beforehand, yeah, saying, yeah. ooh, do come here on Valentine's Day because, you know, guess what, we're tripling our prices. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's become, and it's become a thing where it's got this phrase, what are you doing for, in front yeah. of it. Yes. And more yes. and more days yes. have got what this. 
St. Patrick's Day. What are you what doing are you for doing? St. Patrick's Day? I'm not doing anything for fucking St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit about St. Patrick's Day. It's a yes. the historical evidence for the existence of this man is dodgy anyway. He apparently <laughs> threw all the snakes out of Ireland. Now, I think that's when, when somebody says that about a guy, yeah. that's the point when you start disbelieving in his existence. <laughs> what are you doing for 18th Tuesday in the year? Nothing. Oh, you're not doing anything. Oh, right, because people tend to, you know, go out and dress as reindeers and spend a lot of money in restaurants. <laughs> you're, not, you're not bothering. They haven't got, really got a life. I'll do something for Christmas Day. OK, yeah. that's fine. But we can't have one of these what are you doing for what days are you doing for every Beach week. Day? Yeah. yeah what, what, you're not going to bugger a nun? Yeah. We're all doing it. <laughs> We're all doing it. Obviously, Philbin. <laughs> There are a number of other days celebrated in this country. Irishmen get drunk on St. Patrick's Day, Englishmen get drunk on St. George's Day, and Scotsmen get drunk on any day ending in Y. <laughs> That'll play well north of the border. <laughs> well, you, you say that, but there is an underlying statistical truth about the drinking problem in Scotland. <laughs> they can say it's a generalisation. It is a generalisation, but it's based on fact. <laughs> do you know what? Also, it makes you wonder, at what stage of alcoholism do you develop a Scottish accent? <laughs> Another day we might have included is Mother's Day. I don't think Mother's Day is shit, but I think that one looks shit. <laughs> Look at that. That that is merely a child who's been taught posture from a very early age. <laughs> It looks like from an era where this was probably the one time of the year he met his mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mother, we'll see you in the parlour. Yes. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, mother. I've been out. <laughs> I can't. Take him, nanny. Take him, nanny. Oh, <laughs> this mothering is. Oh. <laughs> I planted this mother on the day of our last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is the worst? Yeah. Teams, which one gets your vote? We're David going Valentine's and Fern. Day all the way, and I, I, I really one? know the, uh, oh, the audience will back us get, up on this. Valentine's Day, the pressure. David and Fern, David and Fern, what are you, you going to go for? Well, I, I, feel like a, I feel like a heel now, but we do get to pick first. Oh. <laughs> so, um, feel we'll go for Valentine's I think, Day. Yeah. You're going to go Valentine's yeah. Day. Valentine's Day it is. Can we not now pick that? Yeah, well, you know you can't. We were gonna definitely going to go for Valentine's Day, but you can see, you know what's happened. You know the scandal that's unfolded here tonight. <laughs> There's a protest against that. The most depressing day of the year, 23rd of January. Nothing's really happening there. And all you've got to look forward to is Valentine's Day. Don't just vote for him out of sympathy because of all this bollocks. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just thinking, Will, I think you look like a really nice, balanced bunch of really... Uh, do you know what? I actually use the expression good people, the heart and soul. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I have a, a moment of shameless pleading as well now? <laughs> please, please vote for me because he always wins. <laughs> To score your points, the audience needs to agree with you. Let's see what they say. Audience, vote now. Do the right thing. <laughs> well, I can tell you that the worst day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> Now it's time for our best of the worst bottom five. This week, a rundown of the very worst public protests, from crazy outfits to wacky stunts. To win their points, all our teams have to do each time is say what the following protests are about. At number five, what are these men protesting about? They presumably are Fathers for Justice. Yes, they are indeed. They? Fathers for Justice demanding more access to their children. Spidey needs to put some little spidey pants on, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the second to the left needs to blooming stop dressing Just to the, to the right. left. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. That's all gone wow. Cup it and move it. You'd be really annoyed. You'd be really annoyed if you went on that demo and he did roll up and he's better hung than the rest of the mob. <laughs> really <laughs> annoying for everyone else in the suits. <laughs> look, he's like they a donkey really at the end of the day. We're going to be in the paper. And I'm going to look like I've got an acorn down there. Well, <laughs> mind you, you I mean, presumably you want, yeah. Someone it's... left him. <clears throat> <laughs> so, just shows you size doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> uh, number four, what is this Canadian man protesting about? What is oh. that a sausage? Is that what that's meant to be? Mm. It, it or a could, shit? It, <laughs> it's a little bit purpley, so it if it's a shit, it's, it's probably not the shit of a healthy person. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, is it surface against sewage? He calls himself Mr. Floaty, and he... He is your... Have you actually hit on the head? He is protesting against the raw sewage that Canada pumps into the Pacific Ocean. Those gloves wouldn't stay <laughs> white like that for... You know, no, you exactly. have to... <laughs> you, very rarely see, you very rarely see a piece of shit with white gloves. <laughs> Except at the snooker. <laughs> <laughs> at number three, what's this protest against? 
Mm. He's uh, the grand cyclops of the clan. And I think he lives in... <laughs> Barking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to give you that. It's, it's the Ku Klux Klan marching in Washington, protesting against the vicious and unjust oppression of white supremacists. <laughs> could easily be like a local news anchor. And after yeah. those views of hate, here's Ken with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that policeman's actually on duty and not... Uh, <laughs> not on the march. At number two on the worst protest list, what's this man protesting about? Is it the price of Perspex Shields? <laughs> That yes. guy looks as if he's on the side of the police. Is he actually the chief of riot police? Never mind the shields and the helmets, lads. This is how we're going to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we do it. I, I won't send my men anywhere. I'm not prepared to go naked first. <laughs> he's at the G8 summit protesting against global capitalism. Assuming he is the protester, I think the police have overreacted. <laughs> And at number one, what's this protester demonstrating against? <laughs> Is it Brian May? <laughs> Is it Brian May and Anita Dobson's Come child? <laughs> the fact they do have a poodle like that as well. They must have three of them sit there thinking, this is great. We've got a really curly sitch here. <laughs> Let's all go and have a bath and just in a hotel and just leave that plug hole just shag forever. It's wearing a shovel suit and seems to have a pancake on its head. Yeah, is it that uh, um, dogs aren't just for pancake day? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's protesting against an electoral fraud in the Ukrainian presidential election. <laughs> Prior to the election, it was claimed that the president had been poisoned. Here he is before and after. And this is the poodle before the Russian Secret Service slipped poison into its food. And here it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a great way of really testing how much someone really likes dogs. You yeah. say, I love dogs. You say, great, I'll bring mine round. <laughs> He's actually doing that thing where you go and lick their faces look at, like that. Ooh, yeah. like that. <laughs> look him in the milk white eyes. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah, they always say owners look like their dogs. When you see him actually with Janet Street Porter. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the scores. And the worst team at the moment are Johnny and Mel, but still plenty to play for in part two. So we'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to Best of the Worst, and it's time to ask which ends the worst. Two video clips, just one question. Which is going to end in the worst way? Here's the first. It's a clip from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Are those wires going overhead? Yes. I just wondered, we've got to at least entertain for a moment the possibility that a cable car is going to turn up <laughs> <laughs> and slew through them. Yeah. <laughs> Key date as well, though. Look, they've trawled all the way back 97. to 97. <gasps> the we global crap, the, um, that's when Wall Street went, wasn't it, 97? You think Wall Street's going to go on them in some way? No. But one of them's just going to suddenly go, my shares! <laughs> sword for that crucial instant. They're saying, don't think like... about the shares now, Vlad. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't 97, yeah. maybe, sorry. Maybe that's his, like, you know, the guy who advised him on investment. <laughs> Ten years it's been, <laughs> and I still haven't built up my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> what does karate mean, literally, in, Japan in karate. Japanese? Karate. It, means, it means, quite literally, empty hands. Empty hands. Unlike karaoke, which means empty room. <laughs> um, incidentally, Mohammed Karimanovic of Germany is the holder of what karate related karate? Anyone <laughs> <laughs> can just get up and hit someone. <laughs> 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 karate night, you just get up, pick someone you want. Who you want to pick up? You up here? Way. Karate. You have to fill in a little form saying, "I'm yeah. going to do punch in the face." <laughs> <laughs> Kicking the balls. <laughs> Mohamed Karamanovic of Germany is a holder of what karate-related record? <laughs> Probably bricks, going through tiles. With one hand, he chopped 69 coconuts in one minute and then celebrated with a pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at the second clip from Spain. Have we got blazing squad on this stage thing here? Is that what the <laughs> bullish... He's not, he's not a fan. <laughs> he looks like the star of a karate night. So she what what he's under the moon of love, they'll kick the shit out of each other. <laughs> Can we have another look? Have another look, have another look. 
Yeah. Oh, it's he's had his horn shaved down, and that annoys yeah. bulls, and it also means they can't judge things quite so well. Well, it's, like when, you, it well, it's like when you trim a cat's whiskers, they can't judge things. Do you think that the bull is about to make a major misjudgment? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, unless it's some sort of, you know, mufty day for charity, they are not professional bullfighters. <laughs> What was the event here? Was this like Spanish children in need? <laughs> <laughs> children in need Spanish style. That's yeah. Terry Wogan's Nine Spanish. Nine lads all yeah. pissed out their heads yeah. on San Miguel and going to go to bull. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's Spain's most popular weatherman, dressed as a policeman, and he's going to join in the carnage. Yeah. And he's going to slaughter he is, it covered in blood. <laughs> right, right so now it's decision time. It's which ends the worst. So which of these two clips is going to end the worst? got to be the bull. You no, know. you've got two Russians. One of them's got a sword on a garage <laughs> tower. <laughs> They've gone all the way back to 97 for this little baby. <laughs> Some researchers looked all the way back. He's gone in there under Russians. Total disaster. <laughs> Let's go for the Russians. Russians. We'll just go Russians. 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 That's that sword. Uh, uh, David and Fern. I've just, just got to go with the percentages. Bull. bull. Yeah. Maddened bull. I want him to get those bangers yeah. on that stage. Amateur then... bullfighters. Yeah. So Johnny's going to go with the Russians. Mm. David's going to go with the bull. Yeah. yeah. OK, well, let's take a look, starting with this one. Fingers crossed, Mel. OK, here we go. Come on. OK, <laughs> watch the little red circle there. He didn't cut his foot off, did he? He chopped his foot <gasps> off. He chopped his little... He chopped his toe off. This little piggy went to hospital. <laughs> He's got his toes off. He's gone to pick it up. <laughs> He's picked it up. Oh my god, he picked up his toe. <laughs> <laughs> no one's paying a blind, blind bit of notice. Look, no, they don't like, care. Oh, they see it all the time. Another day, another toe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the guy with the pick it up. Do you think he just went? Here you go, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Ah. Uh, uh, oh. Dave, Dave, Dave. Toe, toe. You've got toe. <laughs> toe, toe. Here you go, mate. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, They're jumping up and down there you go, for mate. joy. Those Cheers, Nige. Nice one, Nige. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you down the free crowds. Lovely. <laughs> see you later. So, did something worse happen with the bull? Let's have a look. I must have done. It's thinking. Don't make a misjudgment. <laughs> oh. 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 That's not bad. That's not bad. I'd still rather lose. I'd, oh. You'd rather that than lose your toe. No, but look, oh. look, 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 no, look. no, no. I still. He's still got his toes. <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. That's all right. Genius. Brilliant. That is Still very strong. Intact. He's got a pants on his own. The fact it. is, though, he walked Brilliant. away from it. As children need. That's what it. happens in children need. I'm guessing they're not that's, his lucky pants. That's... He's not in more than not. I thought it was all right. That's not all right. It's not That's all right. Deeply no. humiliating. No, losing a toe. <laughs> you measure the worstness of something by how you leave the situation. Yeah, he shows a bit of buttock. Yeah, but he's not limping to an ambulance in his judo kit. Can you imagine every day at some point, probably several times a day, he's got, that guy is going to go. Oh no! A, yes, a bull took my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran around the. Oh, never mind. Get on with my life. Get on with my life. Oh no! I was the guy with the bull took my <laughs> pants off in front of. Everyone! <laughs> oh, no, no, try and get on with things, try and build relationships. Yeah. No, I can't! Because <laughs> the ball took my pants off! <laughs> Everyone was watching! <laughs> I bet he got a career off the back of it. He's TV's yeah. buttock bull man. <laughs> Would you please welcome Manuel Valle, yeah. the arseless guy, and he comes, yeah. like, comes uh, on, I'm laughing crying. At my own <laughs> <laughs> look at the foot, you go, ha, ha. But I've earned millions since, I've written a book, it's fine. At least I didn't lose my fucking toe in Russia. <laughs> Well, which did end the worst. It was a close run thing, as both men completely lost their dignity, but ultimately losing a toe is worse than losing your In prize. your well, face, well, Mitchell. So yeah. at the end yeah, of that round, the I points go to it. Johnny and Mel. Hey. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, we stuck to a yeah. the toss on it. Then. All to play for now in our final quickfire buzz around as we turn to our wall of worst. So fingers on buzzers and okay, we start fingers on buzzers, with Mel. worst idea. What's on show here? Cockroach yeah. jewellery. It is cockroach jewellery, exactly right. What's specific about the cockroach, though? Because it's still quite... alive. Yes, isn't exactly it? right. That's oh. right. It's a live, giant Madagascar hissing cockroach <gasps> decorated with jewels. It's, yeah. it's where jewellery and having a pet meets. <laughs> what do you think is the main problem of the roach brooch? I think it hisses. 
<laughs> because large cockroaches hiss. What do you think the biggest problem of living jewellery would be? I think the it hissing. It dies. The hissing. Yes, exactly. It, it nothing does. dies on you. Large cockroaches... Well, not bullshitting. Large cockroaches <laughs> hiss. And death. that would be the main problem, not the death. Because by the time it dies, you're so sick of the hissing. <laughs> Fingers back on buzzers. Worst dictator, what has the leader of Turkmenistan, Sapa Murat Nayazov, done to the national calendar? Has he changed a month to name it after That's himself? exactly right. He right. has, yes, yeah. he has. Do you think his stylist said, of course we want to get away from that whole, you know, Russian leader look? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we were thinking a slightly lighter form of fur hat. <laughs> <laughs> what else has President Nayazov <laughs> named after himself? Uh, is it the, the uh, capital city? He's renamed it after He's himself. renamed a town, an oh. airport, several schools and a meteorite. What? That's the well-known meteorite egotistical git for. <laughs> <laughs> Worst record. What record's being set here? The biggest ever snog out, that is. Set the poor girl. Yeah, look at yeah, her, exactly. poor chick. <laughs> <laughs> most, so most, lesser. Most elaborate attempt ever to make that woman feel unhappy. <laughs> It's a kiss-a-thon. This is the record of the most couples kissing simultaneously. The kiss-a-thon was swiftly followed by a shag-a-thon and then the sorry I lost your number-a-thon. <laughs> <laughs> Worst toothache. American builder Patrick Lawler went to the dentist with toothache. What was his problem? It was something horrendous that had been in his mouth for a great oh. amount of time. And he wasn't aware of this, but it was only when the dentist went in there, he was like, Christ alive, you got an arrow in there, or something like that, or a crossbow I've... bolt, or something awful like that. I've got to give you, I've got oh, to give you that, yes. How... He had no idea what was causing his nagging toothache until this X-ray revealed that he'd shot himself with a nail gun three days previously oh. and not oh, noticed. Cool, well, thanks for that. <laughs> so what did he do to... I don't know, busy. <laughs> Uh, what did he do to help the swelling? Chop his tail off. No, he, he ate ice cream. <gasps> Classic he? American solution there. <laughs> Worst millionaire. We've removed from this picture the beneficiary of Patricia O'Neill's £53 million will. Who is it? Is it it's some sort of animal? It's a giraffe or raccoon or dog or horse. It's a horse. <laughs> Kangaroo. Is it a root? No. It's a, it's a thought bubble. It's an idea. <laughs> The money went to her pet chimp, who was called Carlu. Patricia's husband, Aussie swimmer Frank O'Neill, once came back home to find Carlu smoking one of his cigarettes and drinking a can of beer. Just while he didn't arrive home a couple of minutes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, let's take a look at the final scores. This week's winners are Johnny and Mel, but this week's worst team is David and Fern. Oh. <laughs> so our thanks then to Johnny and Mel, David and Fern, and there's just time for a final look at this. The world's worst golf tournament, the Builders Challenge. <laughs> You've been watching Best of the Worst. Good night. <laughs>Torn between two lovers, Jennifer Aniston and Cameron Diaz. She's the one. The E4 movie starting shortly. They're on four. Meet Starlet Church next. <laughs>